few more minutes of this, pal, and we'll start drugging you. We went to the wrong side of the entryway. Man, you pissed that lady off. Epcot 40th. Oh boy, she's gonna be hot and hungry, folks. The filet, la cellule, la. You can see all Street food. the cheese in there. Now let's try with all bites, which means. Mm. This is the fry basket. Not they have bubble gum at the bottom. What'd you call those things? I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, God, I got degrees outside it's that that low in Florida so Sherry and I figured we might as well take advantage of it and try to go to Disney obviously because that's I guess the thing to do and we're gonna just go over there and uh, check out the 40th anniversary and check out any of the new merch that Disney has but the other thing too is we, we haven't been to the uh, food and wine festival at Epcot I'm just out here walking cash and getting ready I heard that dogs sniffing uh, around like this is kind of like their ways of intercommunicating with each other. It's kind of like their own little social network. The equivalent of like a human being checking a Facebook page. Now he decides he doesn't want to go back home. He wants to go for the longest walk ever and smell every square inch of this place. Buddy, don't you know I got a Disney reservation? I got a, uh, an itinerary to stick with. I got myself a schedule. A few minutes later. There's just leaves. They're just leaves and grass, buddy. No big deal. You don't have to sniff every every blade of grass. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh my god, he's still going. Uh, where's he getting all this energy from? I wonder if he knows that we're leaving him home to go to Disney. <sighs> a few more minutes of this, pal. I want to start drugging you some CBD oil you know now I think you're just patrolling the area because you know you went number one and number two like freaking half hour ago one eternity later you okay pal you okay don't worry you have mr. piglet here to keep you company while we're gone we'll be right back it'll be a very quick trip to Disney we're still on our way out on I-4 to towards Disney and we just started to, to get a cup of coffee in uh, Plant City and we went to a nearby gas station and that gas station it, lo it looks like it, they just got their electricity just turned back on recently. No gas available because they're waiting for the gas delivery trucks to deliver gas. We're noticing as we drive towards Orlando that Tree down. Um, we're noticing a lot of shrubs and trees that are down, a lot of signs that are flipped Some some minor damage here and there. We noticed there's an awful lot of cops out there. Yeah, like uh, on the way here, we noticed. We've already seen probably like we've only been on the road a half hour and probably seen like eight. Yeah. Nine police officers. I was about to say like half a dozen, maybe maybe even more um, state troopers. Yeah. Main entrance of Walt Disney World. Looks like the sign survived the hurricane went to the wrong side of the entryway. Hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> He's okay. scared. Did you reach it? Oh. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> hey. oh. Bradley, you pissed that lady off. Oh, why? I don't know. Well, he could have, you know, you could have whipped out your, your pass. Why does it be my pass? Mine's in my bag. I could have taken your, your bag out. Babe. What's her name say? There was four hour wait for a four hour line for merchandise is what uh what's her name just texted me. For here at Epcot? Yeah, but I thought the merchandise was delayed because of the hurricane, so I don't know what I don't know where she saw that up. No. Really there probably won't be lines. Everybody's here for the merchandise. So they can resell it on eBay. Mm. I'm not doing that. Mm. I'm here for the food. <laughs> we know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta know where we're parked. Discover 16. We're not, not, uh... Careful with these 
cars. Discover 16, remember that. Yes, I put Discover 16. No, you didn't. 16 or 17. I didn't see you type that in your phone. I vlogged it right here. Now the whole world knows it. We parked at Discover 16. I'm not going to find it. You'll find it on YouTube a couple of days from now when I'm done uploading this. When I throw this coffee out, I'm going to have to... I'm just telling you, it's recorded. By the way, this was terrible. I just wasted $4.16. What is that? A Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin... Cold brew. Pumpkin cold brew. I'm hungry. Ah, you can tell that she's getting hangry. That's fine. you got to burn the calories off, right? Just got done getting out of a, a cruise. And, and we gotta plan our next one. Mm -hmm. Oh god. That that made her perk up. And we're here. We are at the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. So come join us and let's see what we can get into here. I guess everyone had the same idea as we did, trying to take advantage of the weather. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. There you are. <laughs> Fortieth anniversary. What does that yeah. list out? I don't know. I haven't got that far. <laughs> I was coming back to meet you first. So you just got the map, but you don't oh, know what the map it is has, about. Like all their specialties. Their ceremony at eleven o'clock. Oh, I noticed that uh, not as many people wear these um, Disney bands. Yeah, because you don't have fast pass anymore. Oh, there's other reasons to wear them. Like, there's, it's convenient to no, just any go on a ride. You just scan this. No, you don't scan it anymore because there's no fast pass. That's what I'm saying. No, you get to get into the park, the entrance. Yeah, but that's it. Then you don't need it anymore, unless you're gonna buy the Genie Plus thing, which is expensive. Hmm. Yeah, not a lot of people do that. They just eat without their phones now. They used, no, well, they used to use it for the fast pass, but now there's no more fast pass. You use it to scan. Yeah, but don't they, you know, have the oh, interactive the, one? The yeah, they have the interactive things, the interactive bands. Yeah, Hello, I'm talking to you. Oh, I was looking to see if they were done. Earth the sherry. Oh, I lost uh, it. I should have worn shorts today. I was going to be this hot. Oh boy, she's going to be hot and hungry, folks. Yeah, I might buy shorts. This is the line. <laughs> it's wrapping all the way around uh, the center of Future World. All the way up to here for the the entry to the store, I guess. Why are you why are you vlogging it? I'm vlogging it. <laughs> what the heck? I'm sending it to somebody. Uh-huh. Oh my god, folks. I don't want to I'm, I'm here. I guess. It's covering it. Oh my god, look at this line. I guess we won't be checking out that merch. <laughs> oh man, there's even more people at the showcase. Uh, and this might have been a bad idea. She's this. She's looking awfully cute with her Winnie the Pooh book bag. It's called a lounge fly. A what? They're called lounge flies. Lounge flies? It's a book bag. What's a what's a lounge? Why is that lounging, and how does it relate to flies? Is there anything here in Australia that we want? Oh my God. Uh, her mind's on the food. Back back on the food immediately again. Here's a butterfly. Let's see if I can get in closer. To the butterfly. Oh, there it goes. And then in the backdrop, let's see if I zoom in. Epcot 40th. I can't believe it's been 40 years since the park has been opened. Um, I guess it's in 1980s? 1982, I guess? That's crazy. Time flies. Sherry's in line at the Canada booth to get the Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I guess I pronounced that right. Uh, wild mushroom and beef filet mignon served with truffle butter sauce. How fancy. 
and then here are their beverages. The filet la cellulaire. Cut this. And then I'm gonna try a piece with the mushroom. Oh, I meant to get a napkin. I don't know how messy it is. So I'm gonna try it with the mushroom. Definitely tastes like a truffle. Definitely tastes the mushroom. It's good. It brings out the flavor in this. Did you have that last year? I don't remember. I think you did. The mushroom definitely. So let me try it without the mushroom and see if there's a mushroom taste to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a truffle taste even without the mushrooms. So if you don't like mushrooms, I would not use this. But it's good. Um, it is cooked. Not. It's not. Um, there's no pink in here. So cooked you, well done. Yeah. So if you like your stuff well done, this is what you would get. But if you don't like well done, I would suggest you don't order this. And if you don't like mushroom, don't order it. There you go. There you have it. So in this map, let me see if I can get a good view of it is here are the specialty food places in Epcot. They have Connections Cafe in the World Celebration, Space 22 Restaurant, Sunshine Seasons, so on and so forth. Um, what really caught my eye is this Figment, Figment Sponge Cake uh, in Sunshine Seasons. I guess it's in the, the Land Pavilion? I guess that's where World Nature is, I guess. But look at it. Let me go to zoom in shot here. That looks interesting. Maybe we'll get it. We'll see. Depends on the line. If there's a huge line for it. Where? In World Nature? <laughs> Is that uh, in the, the land? For that? Yeah. Yeah. We have to pass yeah. that to get out. So we can go there on the way out. She's still munching on this. Don't, don't cut me. <laughs> I'm not part of the filet. Mm. You want a bite? Nah, I'm good. There's Alice. <laughs> All right, so we stop at the Brazil um, booth. And Sherry said that we got one of these two last year, but I, I honestly don't remember. Uh, maybe it was the first one. Black beans with crispy pork belly, Brazil nut festa. I don't remember any of that. I'm going to have to check back our past videos to see if we got any of it. Um... It's now 79 degrees here, so it's starting to get pretty darn hot. Um, but there's a slight breeze that's kind of kind of balancing the how hot it is. Great. Um, I guess you can kind of just. Yeah, it's finger food, huh? You gotta get so fancy with a fork and knife. Look at that. You can see it's street food. Cheese in there. See the cheese? Oh, yeah. What's that? Was the what was that thing called? Brazilian stuff. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. Monkey bread. It's like a not a monkey bread. It's a cheese bread. Cheese bread. It's a cheese bread. How is it? Good? Mm -hmm. It's full of cheese. I highly recommend that. Does it have like a unique taste to it? Just a Kind of like, like any bread with cheese. There's no garlic or anything. Okay. Or any seasoning. It tastes like a stuffed pizza, though. I guess you could call it. She adjusted her fly thing in the jig. Oh, the thing has writing in the back? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I got rumbly in my tongue. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. So let's try with all bites, which means gonna have a little bit of the rice, the black beans, everything all at once. There it is. And let me show you the inside. Well, you can't really see. But the inside of the pork. Yeah, I see it. So let's try all at once. Mmm! There's Belle in the background. I didn't even know Belle was there. From Beauty and the Beast? 12 o'clock? She doesn't know. It's right there. <laughs> no.
is really good. <laughs> you can taste the pesto, but you can also taste a lot of garlic. And uh -huh. I love garlic. So. Her mind's on the food. That's the reason this? why she doesn't tell the bells right in there in the background. It's really good. <laughs> and then... I'm going to add it now with some more rice. I'm not really a big rice lover, but... Highly recommend. You want to is try it, this? Is it spicy? No. I'm gonna have you try. All right. Now he's gonna try this. It's good. At least I have a bite. All right. Oh, you can taste good. the garlic mm. and the pesto. It's like a mixture, right? I like the pesto sauce. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty unique. The, the bread. Oh, the bread. Wow, he's all about bread. This is his favorite. Pinky up. It's cheese bread. It's very gooey on the inside. Yeah. It's not crunchy at all. It's pretty good. I recommend on this too. Both a thumbs up. Which one do you like better? Mmm. That's hard to say. Um, they're both good. You know, this is more so an appetizer to the main course right here, so I would get both. Okay. I say I would get both, too. I'd like both of them. All right. There you have it. I really keep saying we're going to keep trying all these restaurants here, but there's always these festivals that are going on with all this good food. So it kind of detours us from eating in these good restaurants that they have. But we are going to make it to a restaurant here one of these days. Oh, we ate on a few. We ate on that Chinese no, restaurant. No, I'm talking about in the actual Epcot, not. Yeah, in the Epcot, we had the Chinese pavilion. We ate like I want to say. Yeah, but that's not. I'm talking about years. a sit-down restaurant. I'm not talking about counter food. Yeah, it was a sit. -down. No, it's not. That's Man, counter. your memory. You don't remember, do you? That is not. We were with oh, your cousin yeah, with Wendy. Yeah, we did sit. Okay, we have been to one restaurant. Here. Point goes to me. For the record. But. I was right Again, one time in my life. I want to try that little Japanese place in there. Yeah, but to her point, there's just an awful lot of options here that we, and we barely scratch the surface of how many restaurants there are inside the pavilions. Um, yeah. But, you know, more to explore in the future. And we've already run into two vloggers here. Yeah, we did. We did. So, good day to be at Epcot. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. A lot of people doing what we're doing, vlogging. Weather today, that's why. Yeah. All right. Later, no? Uh, you always go with the seafood. Yeah, maybe we should try the crab slider. We, it'll be you. I don't know. Really, I'm not a big seafood fan. Let's go. Let me see how long the line is. Right. We are at the American Pavilion. Oh, look, and, and they even the have a Tampa. I might try that. Tampa? Oh, yeah. The lime wheat ale. All right, let's go. All right, so this is what the crab cake. This is the yeah. Let me tell you what's in it. Let me pull up my little book. A little, a little, little pamphlet. Look at my that. My cheat sheet. Let's see. Here we go. This is a Chesapeake crab slider with tangy coleslaw and Cajun ramelade. And I like ramelade sauce. So this is ramelade. Really good. Yeah, ramelade. Let's go. And I don't really need a fork, I guess. You're supposed to eat it like Finger a sandwich. Food, yeah. yeah, but I don't really want all these this bread. But let me try it. Yeah, she doesn't do carbs. I do carbs. I need to try this. Mmm. <laughs> look at the, all the crab meat in there. Uh huh. Oh, good. And the coleslaw. And the tangy coleslaw brings out the crab. Is it worth it? I mean, I can't taste the ramelade, but... Ramelade? It's fun to say. It's a fun word. Ramelade. It's good. I mean, you have to like seafood to like this. It does taste crabby. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Crab might not like it. She's not very big on seafood. Nah. Let me do one more. One more. One more bite. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's not spicy at all? Mm -mm. Not spicy. It's crabby. It's crabby? <laughs> it's good. I don't know if I get it again, but it's good. All right. Something crabby for the crabby makes them less crabby. With this and a water, I think it was ten fifty. dollars A little bit on the pricey side, yeah. but that's typical Disney pricing. Mm -hmm. But there you guys have it, folks, in the American Pavilion. 
We got ourselves a crab cake and thumbs up on it. You recommend it? Um, yes. I do recommend it, but I probably wouldn't get it again just for the price and what you get, but it's good. All right, there you go. By the African uh, booth, between African and India outpost booth, and we're gonna get this Dole Whip um, waffle home. We saw that it has watermelon. It's a rare flavor. And here it is, the watermelon Dole Whip ice cream in a cup. And then the they they asked me if I wanted a cone on top. I'm like, oh sure. So here's the cone. Got our hands full. Right, Tell them what you're eating. Watermelon Dole Whip. Mm. Tastes watermelon -y? Do you taste watermelon? Mm. Very ultra sweet. You should have gotten like it intermingled with the pineapple Dole Whip. It's no, very sweet. I wouldn't want pineapple mixed with watermelon. Really? You got a lot of rules. Well, it just doesn't even sound good. Yeah, this is very sweet. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to finish it. I don't think you're gonna like it. That tastes like, so I put some of it in the cone. This tastes like one of those, I forgot what they were called, but they used to be in the ice cream truck. When I was a kid. The thing? They had popcorn, I mean not popcorn, they had bubble gum at the bottom. What'd you call those things? I have no clue what you're talking I don't about. Know. I gotta research that and get back to you. but. They used to be the little ice cream cones that had the um, the bubble gum at the bottom. But it's very sweet, right? It is very sweet. There's a table. Oh, let's go to the table real quick. <laughs> there we go. Put that right down there. Sit down. Oh, right there. Right. They used to be like in a paper cone. Bottom, they had a. But this is good. I would definitely, I would get this again. I like it. Really? I'm surprised you liked it because you tend to not like sweet things, and that's very sweet. I like it. Sweeter than the pineapple Dole Whip. That I it just has get. a hint of watermelon in it, though. It's not like a strong to me. It's, it's not, not a not, yeah. It's not a strong watermelon taste. It's just it's all extra sweet. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish all of this. Oh, I'll eat it. You'll eat the whole thing. All right. I like it. All right. You would have that again? Are you sure? For me, it's a one time, one timer. Wait, I'm really not even a Dole Whip fan, and I like it. Wow, We're total opposites today. Oh, I did. I'm gonna Google what that. Is. Well, yeah. What the heck are you talking about? Your bubble? Yeah. Your bubble gum thing? Watch. You probably invented it. No. Probably doesn't exist at all. <laughs> I never heard of that, a bubble gum at the bottom of an ice cream. Was it a cone or a, a popsicle? It was a, um, a cone. Here it is. This is what it is. A screwball. A screwball? That's what it tastes like. One of those. I never See? had that. Now, yeah. now, now I want a screwball. They came in different flavors. Screwball is a type of frozen confection that appeared in the 70s. It consists of ice cream inside a conical plastic cup with a gumball at the bottom. The flavor of ice cream is usually raspberry ripple. I know I wasn't making stuff up. Jeez, you're you're going back to things you tried back in the 70s. Damn. I wasn't. I wasn't no. You have memory. Born, Damn. It was an 80s thing. I wasn't even really a born in. I was only in the middle. Well, the, the, hell, the, the whole thing that you're going back multiple decades comparing stuff. <laughs> me, I barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning, let alone <laughs> remembering meals years ago. We are at the Odyssey, and here are the various kind of wing options. I don't know if we're going to get it. But the thing I wanted to show you guys is look, look what they did in the interior here. This used to have that little projection show about the future of Epcot and all the upcoming attractions. 
And now they kind of ripped all that out and created a whole little uh, food area. A lot of tables to eat. So we are at the Fry Basket, right next to the racetrack ride. And I think Sherry's gonna get the Fry Flight. They also have these adobo yucca fries. I think we tried them last year, according to Sherry. Man, me, I, I hardly remember. But I think she's gonna try the Fry Flight, and that comes with um, vinegar fries, barbecue bacon fries, and sweet potato fries. This is the fry basket. It says sea salt, malt vinegar fries, barbecue bacon fries with smoked aloe, and sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans, toasted marshmallow that, cream, and caramel. That whiskey. is a lot. That's a mouthful. And uh, which one is which? So this is the bacon. This is the marshmallow cream, and this is sea salt. Marshmallow cream, oh, so that's the sweet potato. Then. Yeah. And this one is the barbecue. Barbecue with bacon and. And that's the vinegar. Milk. Yes. <laughs> this one is sweet potato. Definitely sweet. You can taste the marshmallow, the cinnamon. It tastes like Thanksgiving. The bacon cheese. This one's better. The, the barbecue bacon? Uh, I definitely taste the barbecue. Oh, I knew you were like that one, Miss Carnivore. So out of the two, that one's the best. Out of the two, yeah, we still got a third option there. Third option. You can definitely taste the vinegar. If you don't like vinegar, don't get these. Alright, that one's the winner. Middle one? Middle one. Seasoning on the one in the middle is really good. There you go. Middle one's the winner. China. That's the sour plum. Smells kind of funny. It's definitely sour. Woo. Strong? For me, it hit. Alright, let me try it. Alright, Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't like it either. No, I mean, it was a mouth flat. I'm not trying Korea. Try Korea. Korea's really good. What do you want? Someone push the button for me. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, never mind. Oh, cheers. Oh, oh do it again. You're good. You're good. This one's good. It tastes like apples. Ooh, I like this. Korea Joy. Here's the line to the creation store. And it's a very, very long, long line. The line is right here on um, almost the other side of the park. <laughs> so we couldn't get to the Connection Cafe, but we got to this other gift store. This is cool. And then look at the back of it. Oh, just dropping <laughs> tags. Is this from this? Yeah. This is from the food and wine festival. Pretty cool. 50 bucks. That's not bad for a backpack. All right. We are concluding our day at Epcot. Um, it is very, very hot now. So we're going to head on back to Tampa. Um, everything was good. We're definitely coming back. So there's a lot of stuff we didn't try. We got really cold. So we will be back. And if you want to see future videos, please click the like and subscribe button. And we'll see you in our next destination. But real quick before we sign out, we try to hunt down that figment, what is it, the moose cake dessert thing? Yeah, we couldn't find we it. We couldn't find it. We went to the land. and I'm not sure if it's what's the right place. But or what, maybe they were there. sold out. Or maybe they were sold out. But either way, we were already filled full with so much Those other French things fries that we were tried. Very filling, so yeah, we couldn't even finish the French yeah, fries. Yeah, definitely split them. Don't get them if it's just one yeah. person. So you might not want to eat anything so after you, that. Even if we got that dessert, we couldn't fit it in. But yeah. that's what happened with that particular story. So, so anyway, we're gonna head out early because we have uh, 
a dinner later. And yep. So we're gonna and just. It's hot. And, it, and it's hot. <laughs> I didn't wear shorts today because I thought it was going to be cooler than this. So. Yeah. So All right. Go. Thanks, guys, and we will see you in our next destination. Do you remember where we parked? Yes. Destin, uh, Discover 15 or 16. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. I don't remember. It's, it's at the beginning 15, of this video. Six, yeah, the beginning part. Yeah. Anyway, let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll find our car eventually. All right. See you. And on the way out the door, they gave us this, whoop, whoop, hold it straight, this um, commemorative uh, poster at the 50th anniversary. And we're going to get at this.